Each year, over 40,000 people spend time in Ontario's prison system, many with significant medical conditions like mental illness, infection, and addiction. Access to healthcare during incarceration is a human right and can support people who experience incarceration in improving their health and well being. At the David Braley Primary Care Research Collaborative, we believe in research that informs and shapes policy and provides continuity of care for all Canadians. That's why we support the Prison Health Research Program, combining routinely collected healthcare information with the lived experiences of people who've worked or spent time in prison. Researchers have revealed new insights into healthcare challenges faced by people who've experienced incarceration. In the work that I do, I try to provide high quality care for the patients that I see in the jail as a family physician. Everyone in our community in Ontario should have access to high quality healthcare, and, and that's not necessarily the case. So how can we include people who experience incarceration in our efforts to improve access to high quality healthcare I think is a, a real focus for me. Dr. Kiyumjin's research is already saving lives. Her work has contributed to the distribution of naloxone kits to stem the tide of overdose deaths among people recently released from prison. My hope is that the research I work on leads to improved care for people who experience incarceration and also imagining and building a world where we don't have prisons and where people are not incarcerated. People who experience incarceration are some of the least well-off people in our society, and if we can support people who have the greatest needs in meeting those needs, that's good for all of us. It makes for a, a happier, uh, healthier society. 